YouTube channel. Um, I'm back with a YouTube video. It's been a little while. Um, I am so so excited to show you guys my beauty room. I have worked really hard to create a space that I absolutely love. Um, and it's also acts as my studio so I film in here, I create content and then um, yeah, it's also where I do my makeup and things. So I absolutely love my space. It's a small room, but I've really made it my own. If you guys want to see what my beauty room looks like, then keep on watching. Okay, this is the inside. So when you walk in, I've got my dresser over here. And then it's quite a small room, so it just goes around. So starting right by the door I have my dresser, so I've got a mix of silver and gold um, metallics going on just because it was too hard to stick to one. Um, so in there I store all of my clothes and then I've got some decor, so I've got some flowers. So these flowers over here are from Kmart and so is the um, vase that it's in. Then I've got this little jewellery box holder which is also from Kmart but I just use it to store um, tissues in because I don't like the look of a tissue box so I just use this and I love it. Then I've got some of my brushes in here. These are also from Kmart. Um, they're basically, they were tea light holders but I just use them for my brushes and they look absolutely stunning. I love them and all my clean brushes are in here. And then I've got this mirror which is also from Kmart. It's just a really nice um, big one. It's just resting on the dresser. Next I have this acrylic, um, these acrylic drawers. This is from Etika. I don't think they, I don't even think Etika is a thing anymore, but it's really sturdy. It stores a lot of my makeup in it. I'm going to go through it in a second. Um, on top of it I just have that frame with my business card in it, um, and then I've got three Becca lipsticks. And then I've got some brushes in here. These are brushes that I've used or I'm using at the moment. So as soon as I take brushes out of there, I pop it into here. That's That way I know which brushes are clean and which need cleaning as well. So I'll go through what's in here. So in the first drawer, I keep all of my lip products. Well, most of them, not all of them. I've got Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. Um, the NARS Velvet Lipstick liners, lip liners. These are one of my favourite formulas. I absolutely love them. Um, I've got some more um, NARS. These are the Velvet Lip Glides. These two are Crush and Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love Dusty Rose. It's probably one of my favourite like pink lipsticks. Gorgeous. I've got a Colourpop one, Becca Lip Gloss, Makeup Forever, um, liquid lipstick and then I've got all my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks as well which I absolutely love. This one's broken so I've just had to tape it together. In the second drawer I have a lot of my eye products so I've got all my single eyeshadows. These ones are from Shiseido and um, some of the ones at the back are from Shiseido as well. I've got some Colourpop, um, I've got P. Louise eyeshadow bases, Duo Lash Glue, which is my favourite, and then I have all my Stila um, liquid eyeshadows at the back. I love those. And then my favourite glitter glue by Too Faced. Um, this one, I absolutely love it. Then I've got some pot eyeliners. Some of my favourites are Inglot um, 77. I love using these on clients. Stila's Smudge Pot is amazing as well. Um, and then I've got some glitters. This one is from... Makeup with Jar. I went to a masterclass. It's a beautiful green pigment. Look at how gorgeous that is. In the next drawer, I keep all of my blushes. So I've got some by Benefit. Got Coralista, Rocketeur, and Bella Bamba. This one is actually really pretty. It's by Nan. It's their duo. I've got gold highlighter and then like a really pretty orangey blush. Um, I love, love, love this. Then I've got some of the other blushes. This one is really pretty. This one's called Outlaw. I use this one a lot. And then I also use Dolce Vita a lot as well. Super pretty. This is a little duo that I have. I've got the NARS Liquid Blush. 
This one is one of my favorite products. NARS packaging does get dirty really easily, but the products are amazing, so I just stick with it. Um, I want to purchase this in a darker color because I absolutely love this one. Then I have some MAC blushes. This one is one of my favorites as well. Copper tone. I've got some lighter ones, a darker one. I've got a bigger one here, and then I've got one by Tarte. This one's in the shade Expose, and it is like that. Really stunning. Next drawer is bronzer. So I have this one, the gold deposit one. This is like a shimmery like skin finish um, by MAC. It is really pretty. I've got this one by MAC as well. This is by part of their wash and dry collection. I've had this one for a couple of years now. Um, I think I bought it because of the packaging, but the actual formula of this bronzer is incredible and I absolutely love it. Then I have the MAC Aladdin. Um, bronzer. This one's really nice because it's like a nice deep um, rich color so it actually looks really flattering on um, me and like any like brown skin people as well. Got the Too Faced chocolate bronzer which is nice. I've got two hulas back here because I go through hulas like crazy um, and they're also for my kid as well so I love my hula bronzers. Um, I've got the new Fenty I just literally dug my finger in that. So yeah, that's the Fenty bronzer um, and the Cutie Caramel, Caramel Cutie. And um, I love the packaging. I'm still trying out the bronzer. I don't know if I love the formula, um, but I'm still still giving it a go. I've got the Beauty Luminizer, Luna, then I've got the Nars Laguna, a Ciate one, and then like a little Thin Lizzy one as well. Those are all my bronzers. This drawer has highlighters. And face powders. So I've got um, my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, which I absolutely love. The Dior Highlighting Palette, amazing formula. And um, I've got the Becca one, Mio Illuminizer. And then I've got MAC Studio Fix to set my face with. I've got Hello Flawless to set my face with. And then I've got the Hour Love Glass and um, Powder in Dim Light. These powders are um, quite expensive, but they are really beautiful. Um, I don't, this is not really my shade, like it's a little bit pinky for me, but I do use it on clients. And then this highlighter is actually stunning. It's like a um, beautiful champagne colour, I love it. I don't have too many highlight with highlighters just because I don't tend to wear it too much, but if I do then I'll probably like reach for these two. This is my base drawer. So I have Huda Beauty, um... Foundation, Estee Lauder, which is an absolute favourite. Um, I've got the Beauty Blender Foundation, Nice Sheer Glow, absolute favourite. I've gone through a couple of these. Makeup Forever, Face Tape, and then I have all my Shape Tape concealers here because I absolutely love Shape Tape. And then I've got a Bare Skin Concealer by Bare Minerals, which I don't love. But it's there if I want more of a natural look. And at the back I've got some more base products. I've got Too Faced Hangover Primer. Makeup Forever Step 1. I've got the Moisture Mist um, Hydrating Gel. Make Strobe Cream. Marc Jacobs. Steel Always It Correct. I've got some Alpha H um, sunscreen as well. This has foundation all over it. But one's SPF 50 and one's SPF 15, depending if I'm um, staying indoors or going outdoors. But it is a really beautiful um, sunscreen. And then I've got the Nivea Poche Balm. And then Maracuja Oil by Tarte. If I'm feeling a little bit dry or my skin needs some nourishing, then I'll go in with that one first or mix it in with my foundation. The last drawer just holds all of my newness. Um, so anything I've been given or receiving gratis. Um... Or things that I bought, or things that I bought that I need to try out, or double ups. So I've got like Morphe lip liners. I mean, the eyeliners that are back up. I've got tattoo liner back up. Some lip products that I've got back up of, like um, Lolita by Kat Von D because I love that. I've got some moisturizer. Oh no, it's a mask. Mascara. Put another hula in there. A lot of minis from Benefit. I've got some backup of Tarte Shape Tape, Gimme Brow, little masks. 
sparkles. Um, this is a beautiful eyeshadow from Sephora collection. Look at that stunning color. Yeah, so just like little backups um, or things I've been given that just live in here until I need it. Then I have this little cube shelving unit. Um, I used to have a mirror here, but then I had to swap it out because I kept getting more makeup. So on the top, I just keep um, some flowers. Um, these are some more brushes. These are all clean eye brushes um, and little detail brushes. And then I've got this little um, jewelry box that my sister made for me um, at school. And it just says Heavy Beauty with some lashes on top. And I thought this was so, so cute. And it just opens up and I usually just put... Um, some of my lashes in there. In the first cube I just keep all of my lipsticks. So these are all MAC lipsticks and this rotates so as I get more lipsticks I can fill it um, up with my lipsticks but I absolutely love this because I can really see the lipstick names clearly. And then I've got some palettes in here um, just like random things that don't fit anywhere else and then I keep all of my lip liners. So I've got MAC um, and Morphe, most of them are Mac and Morphe, um, gorgeous lip liners. And then I've got some mini lip liners on this side. This section is where I store all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I've got Hidden Beauty, I've got um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, these are some older palettes, I've got Too Faced Chocolate Bar, this one's the Modern Renaissance, I've got Soft Glam. Um, let me actually show you inside the modern renaissance. I absolutely love this one. This is probably one of my favorites This one is the soft glam. I've also hit pan on some of the colors in this one I've got Jeffree Star And then I've got a whole lot at the back um, I've got some Juvia's Place ones I've got Huda Beauty KBD shade and light palette. This one was in my, um, I use this one in my contour, how to highlight and contour video. I love this. This one, I don't think they, they make this one anymore. It's the Vice palette. It's quite a big palette. I need to give these a good wipe down. Those are my eyeshadow palettes. And then I've also got my um, custom ones by MAC, which cost an arm and a leg. But they are really nice. And I've got like them for my kit if I need them. Down in the last shelf, I just have a makeup bag that I use um, if I'm going anywhere traveling. I love using that makeup bag. And then I've got a little Heba Beauty sign that I keep down here. And then sometimes I'll bring it up if I'm filming a YouTube video. Okay, so right next to the cube shelf, I just have these three um, wall frames up on the wall. Um, right underneath that, I just have a little bench seat. Um, at the moment, it's just got some makeup books on it. It's got a candle from Pete Alexander from when I used to work there um, like a year ago. And then I've got some beautiful scrunchies on here. My sister actually made these scrunchies. She's got her own Instagram page where she makes and sells um, these gorgeous scrunchies and they're such beautiful quality. Um, so I'll link her in my description below as well but they're just stunning. Absolutely stunning scrunchies. And then this one's like a velvet one, which I love. Then right next to the prints, I have this little hanging rack and I like to hang all my um, nicer clothes on it. And they just look super aesthetic as well. Um, so just some my blazers, some nice dresses, things like that. And then right below it, I just have some shoes. And then over on the side I've just got my I Ikea drawers, these are the Alex 5 drawers, and then I've got the Ikea Mickey desk with a little stool, this is where I sit and I film, um, and then I've got a little ring light, so I usually pull the desk forward and I'll pop my ring light in front, and that's how I sit down and film my tutorials or my sit down videos. It's a little bit dark because I'm facing the, um, away from the light. But I've got this tray, which is super cute, and I pop um, my perfumes on it, um, and a lot of my jewellery just sits um, on here. I like to keep it like really clean. 
and clear so it's just got minimal things in it but I think it looks really this drawer is probably one of my favorite drawers I've got these acrylic clear dividers in here and I've popped all my pigments and glitters um, in here these are all from MAC absolutely love it um, I'll show you some of my favorites so tan pigment absolutely stunning this one's like gold beautiful I use a lot on clients and then like my gold glitters super popular for clients got like this pink one is really beautiful so my pigments and glitters live in this drawer and then at the front I just have like another acrylic um, holder and this just keeps all of my neck compacts in here so I've got a lot more skin finishes um, highlighters blushes things like that um, that I just like keeping in here because I have these acrylic holders in the next drawer I have all of my brow products in here that I use on myself so I've got browsing so I've got my brush in there as well gimme brow cabrow foolproof precisely my brow pencil most of it is benefit I've got one by Anastasia Beverly Hills and then an hourglass arch brow definer and then in here I have some of my eyeliners I've got some lashes in here um, these ones are the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And in here I have all of my mascaras. So I've got some Roller Lash, Fenty, um, Benefit. And then the back of the drawers, I just have some Huda Beauty liquid eyeshadows. And then a bit of a random box with like eyelash glue, serum, sharpeners. I've got some Duraline. Um, just for dried out mascara and eyeliner and things like that. Um, I do use a mixing medium. This is more of like my client drawers. I just have some backup sponges, spoolies, more mascara and brow products and scissors. And then I've got sponges in here. Sponges in here and then I've got some lashes in there. The last two drawers are sort of random and I'll show you guys anyway. It doesn't really have makeup. This one has oh, all of my camera equipment in here. And then the last drawer just has more client um, products in here, so Q-tips, wipes, headbands, masks, um, brush cleaner, things. Up on my little IKEA desk, I just have my beauty blender, a little box um, to keep my SD cards in, and then some more brushes. These are also my used brushes, so I know when to clean my brushes. I try to clean my brushes every week, um, and this way it's just nice and easy. So in my last drawer, I just have my last row I just have foundations, um, a lot more foundations in here, I've got some Too Faced Born This Way, NARS, all my other primers in here, um, this one's amazing, MAC Prism Prime, got Professional, Huda Beauty, which is really nice, got some hand sanitizer there. In this one I've got some more concealers, colour correctors, things like that. I've got all my Too Faced Born This Way concealers in there, which are really, really beautiful as well. And here I've got some more MAC foundations. And then all my setting sprays live in here. This one's good. Um, the Tarte Stay spray, All Night is really good. And then um, the Mecca ones are quite nice as well. And yeah, these are all my other base products in here um, and I use quite a lot of these for client makeup as well. That is it. Um, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching that um, and learnt a few tips and tricks in terms of storage or just room makeover and um, you guys got inspired by this. So um, like if you liked this video, subscribe if you want to um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.